Hey everyone and uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to sculpt a base mesh for male head. So let's get started. Open your light box and uh, open Dynamics Pier 64 and uh, now take down the angle of U to 30. You can find this in draw angle view angle of view and now turn off the floor increase the brush size and make sure your symmetry is on before turning off the floor please make sure that z-axis is pointing the on the front direction now again turn it off you can keep it on if you want now select move brush and pull this down this is going to be the chin now you can see we are getting somewhere so after pulling the chin down we are going to bring the chin, chin in front like this we are trying to attain a basic skull shape here looks now here we have to decrease the width of the head this looks okay now we are going to run the smooth brush once now again push this area where the neck comes out from and decrease the size of the brush and pull this down here you can see the jaw jaw bone of the skull now take the damn standard brush and make a crease over here so you can determine where the jaw, jaw bone is ending it will help you to sculpt the ears okay. now take the clay builder brush and increase the volume over here slightly now smooth it a little bit very lightly we need to smooth a little bit more now once we have the basic shape of the skull we are not done yet so here the chin is too low we are going to adjust the chin it is a gen uh, general skull shape if you are uh, looking at any references then this portion may differ I am making a very general skull so I am going to adjust according to my memory it comes like this okay looks perfect to me now again I'm going to make very small adjustments over here okay. I'm liking it now now I'm going to take clay builder brush and add the volume over here a little bit very small strokes now smooth it again now you can see we have very basic shape we are not done yet but we have something to do with now you can see this this part over here is very unrealistic so we are going to adjust that too and uh, now we are going to pull out the neck so pull to pull out the neck what we are going to do is mask this area invert the mask take move brush and very large size uh, yes 
pull it out so looks like the area we'll have to yes no this looks okay then uh, don't worry if the neck comes out too thin you are going to add muscles to it and make it look believable now once we have masked the area out for the neck we are going to pull it out with a large move brush like this ok this is yes this is good for us this is going to work don't worry if the neck is looking too thin now clear the mask and dynamic it again now again take the clay builder brush and start adding the muscles over here this muscles here uh, help us to turn the neck I mean to turn the head once you have done that take the move brush again and adjust this like this and pull this front like this yes now when you compare it this is looking very small when compared to head so we are going to adjust it a little bit more this is taking out too much so we are going to adjust this ok yes now we are going to increase the thickness of the neck so I am aiming for a muscular man so the neck thick neck is too less for me over here so I am going to increase the neck thickness of the neck I mean yes now I'm going to take damn standard brush and make creases over here like this and again add that muscle like this now if you look from here it looks okay but from here the neck is looking a bit feminine so what we are going to do is add muscles over here I am not familiar with the muscles name over here so I am just going to add muscles without naming it like this now this is sticking out too much so we are going to adjust it like this now yes ok perfect so we haven't smoothed anything over here yet not necessary smoothing it ok let's smooth it very light once done we need to add a little bit mass over here so we are going to do that this is too thick over here no matter what the this muscles won't be this thick so yes though we are aiming for a base mesh we have to keep the proportions right from the beginning ok once done the shape of the head is very squarish over here so I am going to adjust it and make it oval this is happening because we have a lot of mass over here on the jawbone adjust it a little bit, a little bit and uh, this chin is too behind too far back now yeah 
so once we have this base mesh so if you see this this is sticking out too much over here it's bulged too much so push this back again a little bit now we are going to look at the silhouette of the skull this comes a little bit like this okay now this is too perfect for us so we are going to adjust it skull number comes that perfect like this okay so adjust it from here too now just smooth it a little bit a little bit okay now uh, we have a basic base sculpt to sculpt a male head there's a small mishap over here so I'm going to fix it very quick okay so to create this head I was referring at John Cena's head that is why you can't see John Cena's head anywhere even though I'm referring it here because you can't see him but yes I was looking at John Cena's head chin is too wide over here so we are going to adjust the chin then again you will see the jawbone sticking out a little bit so again you adjust jawbone a little bit so to at the base you usually don't create ears but then too we are going to try to break the rule because there are no rules first of all you have to follow certain rules but when you get used to it you can try breaking some just like how I'm going to do now so take a damn standard brush and uh, put a line over here where you want the eyes to be eyes of your character yeah like this then okay the line was supposed to come very straight and then a line from here try to point try to find a center point of the skull and decrease the shape decrease the brush of the decrease the size of the brush I mean and mask an area over here like this okay now invert the mask increase the size of the brush take a move brush and then pull out the ears once you have the ear now this ears look like elf ears so we are going to adjust it to look like a human ear rather than an elf ear ok hmm yeah this very pointy over here good ok now invert the mask again take a move brush and uh, move this a little bit and this top part too a little bit like this now again invert the mask Now if you try smoothing the ear, you lose the shape of the ear, even though you are trying to smooth it very lightly. So what we are going to do is once we have extracted the ear, pulled out the ear from the base mesh, remove the mask, smooth it out, all the lines, guidelines we created using damp standard brush. And uh, Dynamesh it at uh, one 
28 yeah cool so basic base mesh we have over here so I don't need to refine the ears over here because this is base mesh then to I can't leave this like this I don't like leaving the ear like this don't know why so I'm going to try to fix it a little bit take damn standard brush very small brush and make a outline for the ear like this and take away the mass from the ear now 68,000 is I guess too much for a base mesh but we have we are done creating the base mesh so I guess we are not in the problem even though if you have too much poly count you can always uh, what do you say remesh Z remesh always so I'm going to take inflate brush very small and inflate this and again take damn standard brush and make one more crease over here so we have definition okay now I don't like ear like this I wanted to stick out a little bit more from the middle and uh, take away more clay from the ear from and take a very small brush and like this again take damn standard brush and create this crease over here I'm going to push this down ok yeah now we are almost done with the base mesh and uh, you can jump right on to sculpting the ears nose usually this is where people leave this base mesh I mean base head sculpt on you don't need to know very you don't have to you don't need to have very strong understanding of anatomy to sculpt a base mesh you have to start somewhere so even though I am not very good at anatomy but yet I was able to attain this so if I can you can too so if you like the video please make sure you subscribe to my channel this is my first tutorial if this video gets nice response then I will make sure I'll make a tutorial on creating a whole head please subscribe to my channel thank you and uh, here is where we are going to stop the video subscribe like and comment